What's cracking guys and gals? Uh, I've been sick the last couple days. Don't worry, I'm not dying. Um, I actually have been having some eye issues and uh, I've been in and out of the optometrist. It's been a complete nightmare. I woke up with my eye completely red. It looked like someone took a sword to it. I could barely open it. Anyways, today's video is on the Fajaka Puffer and it's going to be starring another channel, Trent Weldon, uh, Weldon Aquatics. This is a super cool channel. I like to showcase some other YouTube channels that I kind of see uh, that I actually just like to watch personally. And I think this channel is really gonna grow fast because Trent is an awesome guy. He's got like that kind of like, uh, he's got that good attitude and he's got that just, you can just see the passion in his eyes and it comes through on video. And I think that's, uh, when you can see that, uh, the passion through someone's eye. Guys, I'm babbling. The Fajaka Puffer, make sure to subscribe to Weldon Aquatics. I'll throw a link in the description box. Uh, let me know what you think of Trent and his channel and his tanks in the comment section. Taking care of the Fajaka Puffer. What's up, YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel, but today we're not hanging out on Weldon Aquatics channel. We're over on Palmer Aquatics channel, and I have to give him a huge, big vote of thank thanks, thank you, vote of gratitude, express my gratitude whatever I can possibly do to say thank you for inviting me to come over to his channel and share a video about my Fajaka Puffer Kiwi. So like I said, we're over on Palmer Aquatics channel tonight and we kind of got into a discussion. He asked me if I'd be willing to you know, make a video on Fajaka Puffer care and how I do it. Now, the reason why we've talked a lot about the, we're talking the Fajaka Puffer right now is I think this is a puffer fish that a lot of people have the capability to keep and it gets to be a larger fish. We all know we want that big fish sometimes. So we're gonna kind of break this down of how I keep my Fajaka Puffer Kiwi and I think this you know, can really be broken down to some pretty simple tips. So we're gonna run through kind of the tank size, what I feed her, maintenance, filtration, just some quick, simple tips to get you going on keeping your own Fajaka Puffer. All right, let's start with tank size. I'll give you a quick shot there. That is Kiwi, my Fajaka Puffer. Now I am housing my Fajaka Puffer in a 125 gallon tank. This tank is six feet long. It is about 22 inches tall, I believe, and it is 18 inches front to back. So it's a decent sized tank. Um, I probably would say this is the minimum tank size for a Fajaka Puffer. Fajakas can actually grow to be 18 inches in captivity, maybe a little less depending on you know, what we feed them, the quality of the water, and then other, some other underlying factors, you know, genes and that nature. Now, I still think the 125 gallon is a great choice for you. Uh, you're just gonna make sure you keep up on your water changes. You know, big fish, a lot of waste, but it's also going to produce waste by the food that we feed them. So as you can see right here, we have a lot of half clams in this tank. We have some leftover shrimp there that she actually just got today. I'll need to pull that out here. So with that waste factor, we're also going to have a lot of ammonia put into the tank from the food that we choose to feed our fajacas. So one other quick aspect on food for a fajaca puffer is you are going to want something shelled like we are showing here. Uh, snails are a great alternative. Uh, I personally love snails in my fish room. It's another quick shot of one of my tanks. I've got pond snails going galore. As they grow out, I drop them in the tank for my fajaca. She chows down on them. The reason being is they have, you know, they have teeth. They really do have large sets of teeth that we're going to want to grind down else they will grow to where they can't eat properly. So we're gonna, so I feed a lot of protein based, clams, shrimp, snails, that nature. There's the gist of it. Now the other main question we're gonna get is what tank mates can I keep with my Fajaka Puffer? Well, currently I have a single flag tail Proctolotus in this tank. They get along very well. He keeps, he helps keep down a lot of the algae. I've kept mine with hordes of guppies. I have kept mine with some plecos. I did have a bad situation with the Royal Pleco, so I would stick to something like a Brissonose Pleco. It's going to get a little smaller, but not going to outcompete your Fajaka for food. And that's where the Flagtail does great. He likes to eat the shrimp, but they stay out of each other's way. Another big factor, we have big fish, big tank. How are we going to filter this tank? So I do run a Fluval FX6 canister filter on this tank. I 
and I have, I like this because it does push a lot of water across the tank to give good flow. I'm also in the process of seeding three new, the new Zis bubble biofilters with that beneficial bacteria. So that's why I currently run both. I think something of a good air filter, a good hang on the back, a good canister, something that's going to allow you to have a lot of biological filtration is going to be very beneficial for your Fajaca puffer. You're also going to want something with some decent mechanical filtration as they like to dig in the sand. Kiwi loves to bury herself in the sand and when she does so, she's gonna kick up a lot of particles out of that. So you will wanna make sure you have something that's going to be able to handle not only 125 gallons of water, but also have a large biological filtration factor. All right, guys, there you have it. I mean, that's a quick, quick rundown of how to care for a Fajaca puffer. You know, if you get ample tank size, ample filtration to it, and hopefully you get one that has a calm personality, you can have an awesome fish. Kiwi's a little mad at me right now because I did turn the lights on to film this video. But at night when the light's getting low, my favorite is that she flares up and speeds across the tank. Looks absolutely majestic. You can't go wrong with a Fajaca puffer. I highly recommend them. I think they're great for everybody, but just please make sure you can get the proper tank size. And I promise you, you will enjoy your Fajaca Puffer. So once again, thank you to Palmer Aquatics for letting me come over on the channel. I can't, you know, I, I love this. Thank you so much. It's so much fun to meet other people and ge geek out, nerd out, talk fish. So again, I'm Trent Weldon with Weldon Aquatics, but tonight we are hanging out with Palmer Aquatics.